Isn't that illegal? What I want to do now is talk a little bit about uh, defending your position when on atheism when you've got Christians or people of other religions, usually Christians, fundamental Christians, who come up with all these intellectual arguments why your viewpoint is wrong, why atheism is wrong, and why Christianity is right, why their beliefs are insurmountable. There's, apparently there's so much evidence in the Bible that you cannot possibly be telling the truth. You cannot possibly, atheism cannot possibly be correct. Um, and often if you're an atheist, the only thing that you've thought about is, I don't believe in God. That's what atheism is. You don't believe in God or gods. So, if you need to defend your position, I mean, you don't need to defend your position, but if you want to defend your position, um, it's good to have some way of arguing against Christians who, really, they've been studying the Bible all their lives, so they've got, you know, they've got a pretty good knowledge of what they're talking about. Um, so you need some basic ammunition to to try and convince them of your position um, so what I'm going to do is bring in three three things um, there's two books and a video um, they certainly help me express my position um, and hopefully they, they'll help you okay this book this book is the Atheist Universe, uh, subtitled Why God Didn't Have a Thing to Do With It, and it's by David Mills, uh, publisher, Ex Libris, and you'll find it on Amazon, it's the, in fact it's the top selling atheist book on Amazon. Um, and The Atheist Universe is a book that will help you explain to other people why religion is wrong, and science is good basically. Um, it's quite a quite a easy read, to be honest. Um, it's a real real page turner. You'll find you'll find you'll skip through the pages, no problem. And it's it's really really enlightening how easy it, it becomes to then defend your position when faced with an onslaught of Christian doctrine. Um, and it goes a long way to explain how damaging. The, cult, the, the views of the Christian community can be. Um, like I said, it's the top selling book on Amazon, and buy it there. Okay. Next thing DVD. This is The God Who Wasn't There. And it's a DVD you'll find on the. It's got its own website. Uh, the website is thegodmovie.com. But if you can't find that, you just search for the God who wasn't there. Just put the title in, you'll find it. Here we go. The God who wasn't there. And before I saw this DVD, I, uh, I mean, I still didn't, I didn't believe in God before before I saw the DVD. Um, but like a lot of atheists, I still believed there was a character in history called Jesus because you just assume that, you know. Jesus was a, a character, even though you don't, you, you might, not, might not believe he was, was the Son of God. Um, but after this, seeing this video, I don't believe that anymore, basically, um, because this DVD shows the history of early Christianity, um, and it explains that Jesus was really just invented out of nowhere. Um, it's just uh, Jesus. Jesus Christ is a fiction. He's just a composite of many of the myths and legends and um, fantastic stories um, that that are all the way through history, and he's just he's just coming together of all those things um, put together. And this video basically explains the the very very early history from the supposed. Um, death of Jesus up to when the Gospels were written um, and the surprising thing is there were 40 years gap between the death of Jesus and the, the writing of the Gospels in which in which, to, which 40 years 
everybody forgot about Jesus. There were no, absolutely no writings, absolutely no records, no documents, nothing. Nobody wrote about Jesus Christ in that time. And then all of a sudden, everybody remembered about Jesus and everybody wrote about him. So basically, it goes into a lot more detail than I could. Um, it's, a, it's only a one hour DVD, but it's well worth watching and um, I recommend it. Finally, evolution. Evolution is the big topic. Evolution is what fundamental Christians will have used to batter you over the head with. They do not believe in evolution, obviously. They believe in creation, even though they wrap it up in the words of intelligent design, try to get it taught in your schools. If you are interested in knowing about evolution, if you want to know how evolution works, why Christian views of evolution are wrong, this is the book that you need. Let's get a close up. Richard Dawkins, the most famous, the most eloquent, the most intelligent, I won't praise him anymore, but he's the top evolution, I don't know if he's the top evolution scientist, but he's definitely the top, most famous evolution author. The Blind Watchmaker is the most famous of his, book, of his books. It's the definitive guide to evolution. That's what I've written here. And it can help you answer all the stupid questions that Christians will give you about evolution. Such as, um, how can an eye just evolve at random? That is the classic Christian question about evolution. How can, a, how could, how could an eye just appear out of nothing and of course that isn't how evolution works that is so far from how evolution works that it's untrue uh, and if anyone ever asks that exact question if, if a Christian ever, ever says to you but evolution can't be true because how could uh, how could how could animals just appear how could uh, how, how could animals just randomly generate their own features such as an organ such as eyes and the heart and liver and cells. Um, if anybody have to ever share that, they know absolutely nothing about how evolution actually works. And if you want to know how evolution works, um, read this book. I'll show you again. Richard Dawkins, The Blind Watchmaker. Um, and if that doesn't help, uh, just take the book, take the video, take the other book, smack them over the head with it walk away. Okay, there's the Atheist Toolkit. I hope that's helped. And of course, if you need any more help, you can just find lots more information on the internet. Go for it. Isn't that illegal? Censor your kids' ideas. Censor your child's inspiration. Censor all that. Expect a really heavy return spring, because you know what? That kid's going to turn around you, and you're never, ever going to have a part of his life again. Casting off the chains of the world. But enough about me.